Okay, factorization. So we already had our common factor as number one. Number two is our difference of two squares. And now we add trinomial. So in the name tri, it means three terms and it must have at least one square, which we have over here. Okay, now in grade 11, you're going to get the formula, which is x equals to negative b plus minus the root of b squared negative 4ac over 2a. Um, and it's also going to take the quadratic um, format. Now with this one, we're going to do our traditional way, saying we can have two brackets, we don't know what's in them yet. So then I'm going to have my factors of 1, 1 times 1, my factors of 20, so the factors of the first term and the factors of the last term. Now my factors are going to be 1 times 20, it's going to be 2 times 10, that's also going to be 4 times 5. Now I'm going to see which one of these combinations times 1 will give me 9. So at the end I want positive 9. So I'm going to try 1 times 20 and I'm going to see 1 times 20 will give me 20 and 1 times 1 will give me 9. Oh, sorry, 1 times 1 will give me 1 and that will not get me to 9. Neither will 2 times 10. So I'm going to try 4 times 5. So I cross multiply like this. 1 times 5 is 5, and I'm going to write it here, and 1 times 4 is 4. Now, how am I going to get to positive 9? Both needs to be positive, and whatever these signs are, I'm going to bring them over to this side, okay? Meaning this will be my brackets, okay? So here it will go. It will be 1, so it will be x plus 4. And it will go x plus 5. And this will be my answer. So later on, I'm going to ask you to solve x. And I would only be able to do that if it was equal to 0. Okay, but we did not do that now. So let's continue on to the next one. Okay, now it gets to the bit difficult part where we see there's not just a 1 in front. But we're going to take exactly the same route, saying what is my factors of 8? It's going to be 1 times 8, 2 times 4. Okay, my factors of 15 would be 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. Okay, now I'm going to start my whole process. I want um, positive 14. Now, if I quickly look at this, like, I have no idea. So let's see. Uh, let's try 2 times 4 and 3 times 5. Okay, let's see. 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 3 is 12. Is that going to get me to 14? No, no, it's not. Okay. Now let's try the, okay, this is not helping. Let's try it other way around, saying this is now five, and this is now three. Scratch that out. Two times three is six. Four times five is 20. Hey, that's helping. Okay, and I want positive 14. How am I going to get that? I'm going to have positive 20 minus 6. If I bring it over to this side, positive, negative, that's going to be my brackets. So I'm going to say my first bracket is 2s plus 5. And my second bracket will be 4s minus 3. Amazing. Okay. Now on to my last one, which is a bit tricky one. If you note, there's a squared and a squared. So now there's two like squared ones. Please, please, please don't get scared of them. Um, now we're gonna take exactly the same principle saying, what is my factors of four, which will be one times four and two times two. Now my factors of nine is one times nine and three times three. Okay, now I'm gonna start again. I want negative 12. 
Now, if I quickly look at it, I know that 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, and that will get me to 12. So I'm going to say 2 times 2, and 3 times 3. I want negative 12, so 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. And how am I going to get to negative 12? I'm going to say negative, negative. Okay, this is going to be my brackets. But now, do you see in the previous ones, we had nothing at our last term. So our second term in the bracket had nothing. But now we have a squared at our first term and we have a squared at our last term. But do you see in the middle, it has both of them? Which means when I take my brackets and I times them out, I will get a PQ. Okay, so as soon as there's two squares at, like, at the ends of each, and the middle term has both, you can do a trinomial. If you like, if the middle term doesn't have both, I would suggest taking another route. Maybe see if there's something we can take out. You know, our normal pattern of questions. This time we got lucky. So I'm going to have 2p minus 3q. Remember to add that second q. And the same in our last bracket. Okay, it is as easy as that.